okay, okay, each country okay. would have like a specific HIV rate. Okay, number. right, 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 right. And right. now you're not looking at it by country, so. Okay. Right. Does that make sense? See. Yes, but it's okay. like hard for me to like articulate things that you just. You said. are embarking on a journey. Perhaps your goals and directions are clear. Perhaps you have some broad ideas and passion to guide you through your studies. Whatever your journey, you can be certain that it is unique. No one else will follow exactly the same path. Perhaps you're an entrepreneur with innovative ideas for products and services. Perhaps you're seeking a deeper understanding of our universe through science. Perhaps you're interested in understanding the behavior of individuals, communities, or societies. Or perhaps you're passionate about change, about making the world a better place. Whatever your passion, you can be sure that your passion and your journey is unique. And yet you are united by a common thread, the common language of statistics. Many students view statistics as a requirement an obstacle to be overcome on their journey. Statistics are not an obstacle, but rather a common language that will speed you along. You'll need this language in order to understand what others are saying and to tell your story more forcefully and more authoritatively. It's the common language that unites all disciplines in the natural sciences and social sciences. That's why this course was created, Passion Driven Statistics. It's statistics in the service of your research, in the service of your passion. In this course, you'll be conducting original research, asking original questions, and communicating your methods and results using the language of statistics. This is not an academic exercise, but rather an opportunity to create new knowledge and to share this understanding with others. It's an opportunity to further your passion. Um, in the future, I think it's going to be really important that we find this subsurface ice to sustain astronauts who may explore Mars one day. HIV rate is not significantly correlated to life expectancy in Latin American countries. However, it is significantly correlated in the lowest income group. What sets apart the behavior of binge drinkers um, from people who drink casually, who drink mo more moderately. The total mean of drug usage that was reported by the adolescents showed that most people were not using drugs. The best ideas often come from some insight into the way the world works. And the insights into the way the world works quite often come from understanding numbers. Boring? Boring? Good heavens no. I think it's one of the most interesting things somebody can do. You can't really understand people in any depth on any aggregate basis without a reasonable understanding of statistics. You don't have to be a statistician, but you have to understand the basics. I mean, to have a feeling about data, how to analyze data, I think everybody has to do that. And therefore, statistics, and of course, in statistics is the best foundation for getting some appreciation of how to go about doing that. This statistics course is presented in the service of a project of your choosing and will offer you an intensive hands-on experience in the quantitative research process. You will develop skills in generating testable hypotheses, understanding large data sets, formatting and managing data, conducting descriptive and inferential statistical analyses, and presenting results for expert and novice audiences. It is designed for students who are interested in developing skills that are useful for working with data and using statistical tools to analyze them. No prior experience with data or statistics is required. You find out what pertains to you. You have to figure out what you're genuinely interested in. If it's something that's yours, something that you can relate to, there's more, there's more of you that goes into it. Each student can look at the same data set, but come up with a different research question, and they can choose to analyze it in a different way. And where they take that is completely their own. This makes statistics memorable, because you really have to immerse in your project. This is about what are you passionate about? What are your questions? We really want to answer what you bring to the table. For this course, you will be working with data that already exists. We've chosen a number of data sets that contain vast amounts of information covering health, 
drug use, geography, space science, and more. From these data sets, you'll be able to pose questions of interest to you and then use statistical computation software to turn raw data into useful information. For this course, you'll be using SAS Studio Software Online, and you'll be writing and running your own programs. For some of you who've never written code before, this may seem daunting, but don't worry, because there's a lot of support. And remember, this is statistics in the service of research. Your research always comes first. SAS runs in your browser, allowing you to mine, manage, and retrieve data relevant to your question from one of the data sets provided. As you work through this course, SAS will be available in a window so that you can watch films, learn new techniques, and apply those directly in SAS. We encourage you to join in discussions where you'll find answers to many of your questions and where perhaps you can share what you've learned with others. The data is just so awesome and I, I really want students to see that and I want them to experience it and I want them to embrace it and so I, I just want them to understand that they can take this with them for the rest of their life and it's always going to be valuable. You know. This has changed the way that I view the world, this changes the way that I hear um, about research and literature, it changes everything.